I found inspiration to do some Marley twists from Jay Marie's tutorials here on YouTube. So I was dying to try these out myself. So I had to kind of add two different methods on installing my twist because my hair is super short and I have a hard time with gripping um, my short hair. So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you my two methods on how to install as well as my upkeep on these Marley twists. Before we get started, hey friends, welcome back to another hair tutorial here on my channel. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and join the family. We would love to have you. To all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, hope you're being safe and being blessed as always. I am starting off by creating five parts in my head. So this kind of helps with my organization and I kind of see where I'm going with my parts. So I did a total of five parts, two in the front, two in the middle, and I did one in the back. Since my back is pretty short, I didn't feel like I needed two parts back there. I am not adding any heat to my hair whatsoever for this protective style. For Marley Twist, the hair that we are using is kinky afro texture. So I felt like, of course, keeping my hair in this kinky afro texture would be the best option for me. So I do add a little bit of water to help with management of getting my hair into the twist. So let's talk about the products that I will be using. So I'm going in with my uh, spray bottle with just some water to help add some moisture to my hair because it is dry. And for my cream, I'm going in with the Texture ID Styling Cream just to add in that softness. And then I'm using the Human Hair Fill Afro Kinky Bulk, and this is in the 24 inches. They sell longer, but I want it shoulder length. And then I'm also going in with a crochet needle. So let's talk about the first method that I will be using to install, which I use around my short hair and the hair around my edges and the nape of my neck. So this method is the rubber band method. It is a very popular method used across box braids, passion twists, any kind of protector style which is going to require some grip. So this is a favorite among individuals who do not know how to grip hair very well and is very beginner friendly. So all I do is take a rubber band and secure at the base of my hair and I'm going to crochet my hair piece through or underneath the rubber bands for the security. and then I'm going to split my hair in half so that one half goes to one side of the Afro kinky hair and the other half of course will go to the other side and we will begin to uh, twist. I add a little bit of jam to uh, the ends of my natural hair to help with uh, keeping the hair into the twist and I am doing a right hand over left twist and I am focusing on doing like a controlled rope twist so that's where you twist while you're twisting the hair so I'm very dramatic with my wrist movement as I'm twisting the hair and that helps me get that tight twist now on to the second method and this is the method I use on like my hair that's pretty long. I have no problem gripping. It doesn't require any rubber bands for those who don't like using the rubber band method on their hair. So I just braid my hair down. I probably rotate the hair six to eight times uh, where I get at least half an inch of braid from my scalp.
Just to recap, I use method one, the rubber band method, around my edges and around my short hair, and that's pretty much around my edges. I am growing my hair out from a fade away, so my edges are the shortest part of my hair, and they're also like my thinnest too, so I use the rubber band method because that helps with gripping where I feel like I'm not gripping it too tight, and I also make sure I'm not applying the rubber band with too much pressure. And then method number two, I am going in with a braid, so my braid is my security to the scalp versus the rubber band method. Um, using the rubber band, I braid my hair down half an inch, and this method I got off of Jay Marie. I thought it was a very smart idea to use, and so I try to implement that with mine so I'm not using rubber bands throughout my entire head, and I really love the results at the end. This is the final look. Now I did go in with some scissors and like clip my little fuzzies at the end. I did not dip my ends in hot water or anything. If you wanna add curls, of course you can add flexi, flexi rods or perm rods to add that nice spiral at the end. I wanted this to look like as natural as possible so I opted out not to. Thank you guys for joining us on a, another hair video. We appreciate all of the love that we receive on here. Thank you so much for all of the support as well. And we will see y'all on a, another video. Please be blessed and be safe. All right, before I let you go, so I kept these twists in. I'm kind of doing like an update. This has been a month of me keeping the twist in. And honey, this is probably the longest I've ever kept a protective style. I usually don't go no more than two to three weeks. And so my roots are completely grown now and it is driving me absolutely insane. So I'll be posting another video on how I retwisted it because I was not ready to let my twist go. So stay tuned for that video. It will be uploaded next day.